Okay, first stage we shot today was actually a pretty cool one. Wasn't too hard here at the beginning. Gonna go ahead and shell the tarts right here. Gets a little more complicated towards the middle here because there's one shooting position right here, but there are multiple different sets of targets. You gotta get inside of this little area. And the last one being hid behind the barrel right there on the right. And you're gonna come over here to the end. You got quite a few targets. That target right there that I shot twice, we had an issue with it falling. Okay, as you can see, this stage is kind of similar to the first stage in the fact that you're shooting from one side to the other. Okay, this part's not too complicated. Go ahead and just blast a few targets there real quick. When you move to the center section here, you gotta make sure you go ahead and pan through the window here to make sure you don't miss any targets. In just a second, you're gonna see me get a click no bang and that's because this gun actually does not lock open. It actually shot all the rounds out of the gun just then. There wasn't one left in the chamber. Okay, number three was actually a really interesting stage because you did start right dead in the center and you could go to any of the four corners. I chose to go to the left bottom corner to start off with and I ended up working my way to the right. And it was actually pretty interesting. As you can see there, I went ahead and shot quite a few targets there and then you moved to this section to finish the ones that you couldn't see to start with. I went ahead and backed up, got a few targets here, worked my way all the way back to the right side where the gun decided to do something weird here. As you'll see, when the gun goes off, you'll see a live round fly out the top, in case eject, and I continue to rack the gun, and it will not pick the round into the chamber. They just kept flying out of the top of the gun for some reason. Not exactly sure what happened there, but it cost me quite a bit of time. Okay, now for my favorite stage of the day. We'll get into why that is in just a second, but first we're gonna go ahead and grab the gun off this hero barrel. Go ahead and blast all the targets on the far right side of this stage. And then we're going to go ahead and do a quick reload right here, move into my favorite part, which was shooting through this barrel. Not only does it sound really cool, gives you a completely different shooting experience on top of that. Go ahead and finish off here, blasting a few more stay, our targets here on the left side. Okay, now on to the last stage of the day. It was a pretty fun stage, nothing super complicated. Although I did have another one of those random issues where the round flew out of the top of the magazine and instead of going back into the chamber like it's supposed to, as you'll see right there, it did it. And I believe that is something to do with magazine number three because every time that happened today, it was with magazine number three. So I'm gonna have to go back and look at that magazine and see what's wrong with it. You gotta love the old camera mount, always missing something there. But nevertheless, even with a few issues I had with the gun, I ended up having a great time today. And I wanna say a big congratulations to my buddy Brian Looper for his first top 10 finish overall. Okay, if you made it this far, I just want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're looking for more fun and gun right now, you can click one of the two recommended videos there. If you're looking for more fun and gun later, you can go ahead and click that there subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. And if you're finding me from Facebook, go ahead and click that open app button at the top to make all that a lot easier. And I'll see you next time.